Yo, yes. don't buy stupid what is a low budget strategy that I could be using when I get to star cards? And we're gonna answer that question. But before that, we're gonna open this card because this is a huge, huge card. So let's get it. Congratulations to Mark on this Jude Bellingham 2020 Topps Chrome Refractor Auto. PSA 10 it is indeed a pop one and we've been hitting some pop ones on this channel So that's pretty cool and good news and it's a beautiful card So this wasn't even Mark's first submission with us He actually sent us a Jao Felix stained glass a while back and it looked great on photos But when we got it in hand and we did a review service Which we do offer because we ain't trying to get y'all clap from PSA We saw a huge surface issue and what made it worse was we actually had to send it internationally because he lives out of the country So a few weeks later he sent us a DM saying hey I want you to check out this Jude Bellingham card and I said bet took a look at it in hand it look insane you're gonna notice that we didn't grade the auto because the auto's a little bit off the sticker and let me know down in the comments would you have graded the auto knowing that you wouldn't got a 10 or you would have done what i did and now let's get into the topic of this video because a lot of y'all been asking me this question and there's so many different answers so i'm gonna roll up to my local car show and ask all these collectors that i respect on their strategies when it comes to low budget <laughs> I'm not saying I'm too good for a dollar box, but I went through a dollar box. Lately, I've actually been going on eBay and watching like a lot of different things. I've been picking up a lot of like graded World Cup stuff for like super, super low price. So you're going through the graded route. I'm actually going through the raw route. That's what I was doing, but with PSA doing all of that, I had to figure out a way to still have some slaps, right? Okay. If, I think the best like margins are going to be in the nines. So I think nines. Really? Are so you're, you're, you're going to take, okay, you're taking nines. They know me, I'm not a nine guy. I'm not either. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but the example though, like in that, like I like nines in that were so, okay. okay. Okay, so that you're going, you so you're going for nine in like colors, right? right? Colors, okay. Literally, I just had somebody tell me that um they would invest in four cards in like for fifty bucks each, right? And me, I would rather invest a hundred cards. Right. But some people don't like doing that. Right. It used to be like a great idea to buy raw, grade it. Things have changed, so. I'm using SGC. Bruh. That's yeah. another way to do it too. I'm gonna try it out. I'm going to the deep end, the dark side. Some people say, hey, if you want to rip boxes, go to Donruss Optic, talk to Finest. Okay. I'll pivot on that point you're okay. making. Yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. If you're really trying to do it for fun or collecting standpoint, that's a great route as well. But if you're trying to increase your value as an investment play, yeah. I would recommend not doing the breaks, not doing the wax, and trying to get the good cards as much as just going towards that single card, that player that you're really passion you think has a good chance to do well so you're telling me on TikTok you're not gonna hit a one-on-one -on -one every single video yeah okay I'm telling you that okay and the players that you think are gonna do well and only rookies oh. <laughs> mostly rookies only and rookies. Autographs. rookies autographs and stuff like that look I mean stuff they're hard to find right you going to Nashville yeah see you there. yeah are you guys gonna have a booth nah I'm just going he's not going okay yeah I'm debating if I should go too bro you I, should I go for myself. Oh, I mean you gotta go how you debating cancel <laughs> Y'all got any advice to people that want to start? Yo, don't buy stupid shit. Do you got anything like specific? Don't buy random base random cards of okay. players that don't Don't listen important. to people that say that player is good. It's probably exactly. not, bro. No, no, exactly. exactly. It's probably not. Not, not capping, though. That's people be like, oh, I, play, I love that player. Oh, that's, that's good for you, bro. <laughs> Whenever I'm looking at the new, like, soccer rookies now, like, yeah. at least how I'm looking at it now, I like the stickers more. And they're tough to grade. I was going to say, like, if you get a 10 on them, they might be really easy to get in general, but like if you get a ton on them, it's so much, it's so much harder. Cause it's like high end. I was looking at everybody's first World Cup card, or first World Cup sticker. That's I like the sticker. Bro, that's a more play, than... bro. Yeah. That's a play, I'm telling you. Like any casual, cause I mean, you know, we didn't grow up watching these players, but anybody who doesn't know about soccer, you can be the biggest casual, and you can just go to the FIFA World Eleven of the 40s, 50s, and 60s, 70s, and just oh, Balador. Balador, just look at yeah. Balador winners. Just go through them, and just just look at everybody. Like I was looking at. Buscas is, uh, <laughs> bro, I was literally, hey, so literally when I first started, like I was buying stuff that I liked. That's so key. When you buy the stuff you like first, it actually ends up working out better than what you want to invest in first. Like when I first started, like everybody's seen my channel. I bought my PC and my PC ended up making me more money than stuff that I was like, oh, this is going to go up. And not only that, like you can't skip levels. You can't get from like level 10 to like 
Level. I mean, if you have the bag, it's a little different, but yeah. you know, like, for average people like us, right? Nobody's got the bag. Like, like, <laughs> like, I can't drop 10 bands at a show. Bro. I just shout out to Ben Carlos. You literally have to think as a collector. Hey, man, I appreciate so, you. Thank you, bro. Thank you, thank you. I like your stuff, man. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Man, yeah. what's Kevin though? He knew, he, he knew I subscribed. <laughs> I, I knew, I knew. He knew us. You guys told me your story, how you guys started with, you know, a certain yeah. amount. So. Very little. We started with very little. I mean, I would say the advice is don't buy into the hype on guys. Try to get in early. Um, stick with some of the goats, Ronaldo, Messi, those guys, and just build it. If you're going to buy graded, buy like sevens and eights, and then upgrade to nines and tens. You don't have to go for the gems right away. And, and for me also, is it's about making the relationships with other people and other dealers. 100%. I mean, you can do that without selling anything. And to have that advice and work with dealers and learn the industry, it's a great way to learn it and, and start off yeah just get to know people you get good deals and just don't buy into the hype would be my biggest advice <laughs> just don't buy the hype <laughs>so I'm back home. I wasn't able to record too much at the show. I was only there for an hour, but I want to go over some cards that I got to buy while I was there. And I actually bought, picked up a lot of raw cards. I didn't buy any graded cards this time, which is super unusual for me because I wanted to prove a point. I wanted to show you guys, hey, you know, if you guys are asking about low budget strategies, I want to at least try to do my best on figuring out how to do a low budget strategy that works for me. And what I did was I bought two Eunice Musa's Mega Cracks, $25 each. And you might be wondering, why would I be buying eBay comps? on eBay when you could get it for cheaper in person. And really, when you're buying raw card, you pay the premium if you know the raw card could be grading as a good grade. And I'm gonna send it to SGC. I watched one of Troy's videos, uh, Trek 415 cards, and I thought it was a really brilliant video. So I'm gonna try to kind of test out the waters with that. And I also bought some Champions League stuff, Topps Chrome base cards. I know a lot of people aren't fans of base cards, but Dominic Schobersly, I love that player. And then also Romaro Barro. And these are a lot longer term plays where if they could have a moment, then you probably flip it for, you know, 50 to $100. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know there's a lot of different answers that I got on this topic. A lot of people want to have that one answer to kind of answer every single question, but especially with low budget strategies, there's so many different ways you can take upon it when it comes to soccer cards. But thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure to rate, subscribe. That would mean the world to us and love you guys.